man. We got some more breaking news, man. We got some more breaking news. We got some more breaking news. Hassan Campbell literally just posted a video releasing some more audio tape of WAC 100 talking crazy about Nori. Um, no jumper, Adam, uh, Gilly the Kid, Wallow, Wack 100, bro. It ain't looking good for you out here, bro. It ain't looking good for you out here. So let's play this audio. Fair use, fair use, fair use. Let's get into it. See, I, I don't know if Adam 22 know about me yet because he big. He on another level. But, that, like, but that's my family. We got him in the back pocket. Oh. <laughs> so, Wag 100 said that he got uh, Adam, no jumper, in his back pocket. Okay. When you want to come out here and do it with him, you're going to be like, Wag, well, let's go. Okay, okay. Adam 22, that's what I brought together. Adam 22, me, at 6 9 you there that's guaranteed all us authentic ain't no fuck shit see boy they be talking behind the scenes like setting shit up what if all this was a setup what if this right here is a setup I wouldn't be surprised Gilly and Wallow and fucking the nigga tree taps I squeeze them niggas when I want to you heard it he said Noriega, Wallow, Gilly, I squeeze them when I want to. Damn. Them niggas when I want to. Perhaps I squeeze them niggas when I want to. Benick ain't no fuck shit. Gilly and Wallow and fucking the nigga three champs, I squeeze them niggas when I want to. Damn. Because they know they got to come out here. You know what I'm saying? Right. But them niggas ain't all that's right there. That's whatever the fuck we need to do. Nigga, we already got our shit right. That's all we need. That's it. Them niggas is 150 percent white. What we doing? That's it. So basically, he's saying that. Basically, he's saying Wack 100 is saying that we got him in our pocket because when they come out to Cali, you know, they will be protected. I call that nigga Adam right now. Yo, nigga, I saw him come out. He want to ride. Like, what they want to set up? How you want to do it? That's it. All thin. You know what I'm saying? We're going to control the narrative, do it how we want to do it. Control the narrative. Listen to what he say. We can control the narrative. Do it. That's it. All thin. You know what I'm saying? We're going to control the narrative, do it how we want to do it. The rest of them niggas is going to duck from us. Sheesh. Yo, Hassan got a lot of ammunition bro Hassan got a lot of ammunition and it seems like he's gonna slowly just dish out all this information that WAC 100 is talking about it seems like WAC 100 is talking about a lot of stuff boy mm -mm -mm. damn sheesh boy this is <laughs> this is getting crazier and crazier so it sound like uh, WAC 100 may be burning a lot of bridges. A lot of people may be looking at WAC 100 sideways, especially after hearing this audio, basically saying that he got Adam 22 in, the, in his back pocket. He can squeeze Noriega, Wallow, and Gilly because when they come out to uh, Cali, you know, they're going to need protection and make sure they are right. Extortion. Man, oh man, these YouTube streets is on fire right now, man. These YouTube streets is on fire. So y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Um, do you think WAC 100 is in trouble? Do you think a lot of do you think a lot of people are gonna start looking at him sideways? Cause I wonder what else WAC 100 said on that conversation. And remember. Hassan Campbell said that he has an hour 
of recording. So can you imagine what's on that hour? He just played like two clips. And in those two clips, he talked about Nipsey Hussle and this whole, you know, sex tape, extortion, extorting Nipsey Hussle, Lauren London, trying to take 30% of Nipsey Hussle's estate, calling Big U a snitch, calling Big U a rat, saying that he got Adam 22 no jumper in his back pocket saying that he can squeeze Noriega Wilo and Gilly and that's only like five minutes of the audio just imagine what else is on that audio why is even Wack 100 talking like this to Hassan Campbell why is he talking so freely that's very questionable for the simple fact that WAG 100 is just like this open with a person that he don't even know he don't even know Hassan Campbell like that it's not like they been knowing each other for five years like they just started communicating and, and he already spilling the beans so just imagine what he tells other people this ain't a good look for a WAG 100, bro. For a WAG 100 to be talking the way that he talking to Hassan Campbell and he don't even know Hassan Campbell like that makes you question WAG 100 altogether. Damn. I ain't gonna lie, man. Hassan Campbell, you got that boy on the ropes. I, I, I can't be biased right now. I cannot be biased. Hassan Campbell, you got that boy on the ropes right now. Wag 100, you got to come out and make a statement or I don't know what you got to do, bro. But Hassan Campbell got you on the ropes. I can't even front. And just imagine what else is on that audio tape. Sheesh. <laughs> this is about to get crazy, man. This is about to get crazy. Um This is about to get crazy. So yeah, I just wanted to report on that. Hassan Campbell just made a video saying that uh he feel like he pretty much got everybody in the chokehold. I mean, that's that's basically what Wack 100 is saying that he he got everybody in a chokehold. Y'all leave a comment down below and y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. This ain't looking too good for you, bruh. This ain't looking too good for you, Wack. It's your boy, Damn D. Live news. Make sure if y'all new to this channel, y'all hit that subscribe button. Sheesh!